Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Antifungal Agent. This video covers Medicinal Chemistry 3, third year, second semester Medicinal Chemistry of fourth unit. In this fourth unit, Antifungal Agents, I will explain about Antifungal Antibiotics, Synthetic Antifungal Agents, its chemistry, nomenclature and synthesis, what all the drugs which are given in the syllabus. Now this is my YouTube channel, you just type in my name Jaysanajesh, you will get the video contents. If you like the video, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. So in the syllabus, these are all the drugs given under the title of antifungal antibiotics. Amphotericin B, nistatin, natamycin, griseofulvin. These are the antibiotics which acts against fungal infections. Whereas synthetic agents, you have a big group called as azoles. These drugs are called as azoles. Chemically, clotrimazole, iconazole, budoconazole, oxyconazole, thioconazole, miconazole, ketoconazole, terconazole, itra traconazole, fluconazole, all of them are known as azoles. The last group is naphtifine and tolnaphtate. Now, before getting into that, let us understand about fungal agents, antifungal agents. See, medication used to treat mycosis or fungal infection are known as antifungal agents. So, these can be superficial, that means which are affecting only skin, dermatological problems or in certain cases, when people are immunodeficient, the infection will get into systemic infection. Understand this one, when the immunity is low, then only the infection gets into systemic infection. Now, when people take bath, when they don't wipe properly, the, uh, the water droplets present on the skin may cause fungal infection because most of the water contains fungal species. This is the importance of wiping properly after taking bath. Now, antifungal agents, we have two different classes, fungistats and fungicidal. Fungistats are the agents which will inhibit fungal growth, fungicidal which will kill the fungi. Now, <clears throat> this slide explains the mechanism action of all the drugs. Now, fungi has got a cell wall, cell wall which is made up of chitin. The cell wall can be damaged, it is made up of 1,3 beta glucan. It can be damaged by echinocandin class. Echinocandin contains capsofungin, anidula fungin, mica fungin, all of them ends with fungin. They damage cell wall and cause cell death. Now, the other thing, cell membrane, cell membrane in case of fungi, it is made up of ergosterol. Now, ergosterol is synthesized from squalene. Squalene is converted to lanosterol by squalene epoxide enzyme. And lanosterol is converted to ergosterol by 14-alpha demethylase enzyme. Now, these two enzymes are inhibited by different classes like tolnaphtate, terbinafine, naphtifine inhibit squalene epoxide and squalene levels are increased which will cause toxicity to the cell. Whereas, azoles inhibit 14-alpha demethylase, so lanosterol. Uh, ergosterol formation is inhibited and cell wall, cell membrane is not formed. Now, the other important thing is a microtubule system is there which is inhibited by griseofulvin drug whereas DNA is inhibited by flu cytosine. So, these are all the various classes and their mechanism of action and the other important thing is amphotericin, nistatin, natamycin. All these are, <coughs> they contain amphiphilic uh, nature. Because of their amphiphilic nature, they get inserted into cell membrane and causes damages to the cell. Amphotericin is very important drug. Right? Uh, amphotericin is widely used to treat black fungus. Black fungus uh, which occurred during uh, COVID infection that was treated by amphotericin too. So, this is the mechanism of action and various drugs. Moving further, azoles are the important class. In azoles, you have two different classes are there. Drugs which contain imidazole ring, drugs which contain triazole ring. Drugs which contain imidazole ring, drugs are clotrimazole, iso uh, isoconazole, miconazole, ketoconazole. Now, don't get confused. This is clotrimazole. You have another drug called as cotrimoxazole. See, cotrimoxazole is a combination of combination of trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole used to treat bacterial infection. Whereas, clotrimazole is used as an antifungal agent. Now, triazole derivatives, fluconazole, itraconazole, voriconazole are there. Mechanism of action, uh, all these azoles inhibit 14-alpha demethylase, but the problem is they also inhibit cytochrome P450 of humans. Now, majority drugs, they are in topical form. See, most of the time fungal infections are restricted to skin infections. Only in immunodeficient, in immunodeficient people, it gets into blood. Now, this is Miconazole. Now, understand the IUPAC name. See, Miconazole has got dichlorobenzyl oxy group. So, this one is dichlorobenzyl oxy group and then dichlorophenyl is there. This is dichlorophenyl is there and then you have an ethyl bridge is there and then imidazole is there. This is imidazole. Very simple. You need to identify what all the different rings are there then writing IUPAC name will become easier. A dichlorobenzyl oxy and dichlorophenyl ethyl imidazole. 
Meconazole. Now let's get into the synthesis. See, while synthesizing, you need to understand something called as retrosynthesis. You need to see the structure of the final track and then see what all the things are required. See, you need you need this portion and you need imidazole ring and you need this dichlorobenzyl derivative. So three things need to be attached. So first one is this one. This is nothing but 2,4-dichlorophenyl acyl bromide. Acyl bromide is taken, it is condensed with imidazole and you get 2,4-dichlorobenzyl methyl imidazole. So one and these two rings are attached. Now this ketone is converted to hydroxy group by a reducing agent sodium borohydrate. Now what, what else is required? This ring has to be attached. This in the form of 2,4-dichlorobenzyl bromide and condensation results in meconazole. Again, understand how the drugs are synthesized. This is called as retrosynthesis. Identifying the final drug, make it into pieces and attach each and every piece. Now, again, another drug is tolnaftate. As we have seen, tolnaftate <coughs> inhibits squalene epoxide. Then when the squalene epoxide is inhibited, squalene levels are in increased. Squalene causes toxicity to the cell. Now, IUPAC name, again, understand this one. See, O2 naphthal. This one is at second position, oxygen naphthal group is there. Now, methyl thiocarbamate is this one, methyl thiocarbamate and 3-methyl phenyl group is this one. So, very simple one. For any IUPAC thing, just break down into individual rings, you will get the name easily. Now, again synthesis, see, this portion is required and this portion is nothing but 2-naphthal. Now, thio in insertion is possible with thiophosazine. See, in fact, C double bond O and 2 chlorides is phosazine. When oxygen is replaced with sulfur, it becomes thiophosazine. And with that condensed product, you need to add N-methyl 3-toluidine and you get tolnaphtate. So, this is what is the synthesis of tolnaphtate. Very simple thing. In the syllabus, only these two drugs are given. So, this is about antifungal agents. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this video.